Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about red black tree. Right? Now, what is a red black tree? A red black tree is a pine research tree which satisfies these properties. First is, every node of red black tree has a color, either red or black. Second, root of red black tree is always black. Right? Third, if a node is red, then its both children must be black. Fourth, Every leaf, which is a nil node, is black, right? Fifth, for each node, all paths from the node to descendant leaves contain the same number of black nodes, right? Now see. It is a red black tree, right? It is a pine research tree and it satisfies all properties of red black trees, right? It's uh, every node has a color, either red or black. Root of this uh, tree is black, right? Now see, if a node is red, right? Then it's both children are black, right? Now see, every leaf, which is a nil node, is black in this tree right now see for any node right now consider suppose this node right now from this node we take any path from this node to its descendant leaf every path will contain same number of black nodes now see from uh, this node suppose we consider this path right now in this path we have Two black nodes right now let us consider another path from this node to its descendant leaf another path is this one right this path also has two black nodes one is this one one is this one right now this path it also has two black nodes right so you can see that uh, from this node if we take any path from this node to its uh, descendant leaves, they all contain the same number of black nodes. So, so in this uh, tree, for each node, all paths from the node to descendant leaves contain the same number of black nodes. Right? Now, Next topic is black height of a node X in a red black tree. Right? For a node X in red black tree, the number of black nodes on any path from node X down to a leaf, but not including node X, is called the black height of node X. Right? Remember that in red black tree, all paths from a node to its descendant leaves have the same number of black nodes right and black height of a red black tree is the black height of its root right now see this red black tree right now suppose now suppose we have to find the black height of this node in this red black tree so what will we do first of all we will choose a path from this node to any descendant leaf suppose we have chosen this path right now we will find the number of black nodes in this path but we will not include this node right so the number of black nodes in this path not including this node is 2 right in this path there are two black nodes one is this one one is this one so black height of this node is 2 right we can choose any path from this node to descendant leaf all paths will have same number of black nodes right so suppose uh, if we choose this path right then to find the black height of uh, this node suppose we have chosen this path right now the number of black nodes in this path not including this node is two one is this one and one is this one right so black height of this node is two now we have to find the black height of this red black tree. 
Now we have to find the black height of this red black tree, right? Black height of a red black tree is the black height of its root. So we have to find the black height of its root. So we will choose any path from root to descendant leaf. Suppose we have chosen this path. Now we will count the number of black nodes in this path, but we will not count the root node, right? So in this path from root node to descendant leaf, right? There are three black nodes, one, two, and three, right? We have not counted the root node, right? So the black height of root node is three. So black height of this red black tree is three, right?